Hello, um, I suppose part three technically. I've finished and I have attached the counter to the back of my HW100. Now, let's have a look. What I've done is I've put a small piece of its um, Picatinny rail, it's just a spare piece that I had lying around. So I've stuck it onto the back, there, onto the back of the counter, with a small piece of Velcro. Now on the back of the HW, there, I've stuck another small piece of Velcro. I've taken the outer insulation off the wires, it was a little bit inflexible. So I've just trimmed all the black plastic insulation back and if I simply I'm just using that there to, to trap that wire in between and as you can see it fits there well a peach I've run I'm just going to shut the cocking lever to show you this. The so I, and I will secure these because I don't I don't take my uh, my night vision scope off. So I've just run the wires down there, and sorry, I'll just move things so I can make it a bit easier to show you there is the micro switch I've just put it in a small piece of heat shrink tubing and you can see it's mounted on a small piece of velcro on the cocking lever you've now got one of those super small magnets I showed you the other day, a deer on with a little bit of araldite. So when the cocking lever closes, it mates up perfectly with the reed switch. So it's easy to open the cocking lever as usual. Just like that. And there's a little bit of the, the Velcro just gives it just a little bit of of play, but it's not going anywhere. It's not going to come off. So if we look at the counter, so what we are, let's find the counter. There we go. So I'll reset. I'm just going to swap hands, so please just bear with me a moment. So, pull the cocking lever back, shut the cocking lever, pull the cocking lever, fire the open, close the cocking lever, open, close the cocking lever, and as you can see, Every time you cock the lever, you close the lever. So that tells you what number pellet you're on. So that's it from my perspective. I'm going to tidy the wiring up a little bit, but it's simple to remove. Seconds to remove, I can realign it. I've sealed the holes in the back of the, um, the, the counter unit with a little bit of adhesive. I don't profess. Oh, that was a macro lens just flown off the camcorder. I don't profess for a moment that it's completely waterproof, but then again, it's not really designed to be. Um, I don't. I, I, you'll never see a, a wet pest controller. Um, so there we go. That's it. Job done. I had looked at putting the magnet and reed switch assembly 
on the trigger but I simply decided it was it was easier to keep the wire running along there instead of having wires running down there but there you go that's it job done thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful